Hey, so I posted something recently about the use of I'm sorry. And I was realizing as I've been like thinking of like this overuse of I'm sorry, that that post, it definitely was coming at it from my perspective. I think um, I had been noticing like, wow, I use I'm sorry, like in situations that I'm, I don't really have a reason to be sorry. Um, but then I started talking to other people and getting other people's perspectives of how they use it, when they use it, when they bring it up. And I became really interested in just like exploring the idea of it. I think um, it's interesting to look at something like this. Um, and there's times we're choosing it or doing something that might be unconscious, but let's just look at it and explore like both sides of it. Like what's the positive times? What's the times that might be associated with positive things, positive emotions, and then what's the negative? And maybe it'll just make you more aware of it and allow you to explore how you're choosing it and, and um, become consciously choosing it. Um, so first off, like when we're talking about over apologizing, we're not talking about things that you like should be apologizing for, but times when you're like at a restaurant and the waiter gives you like the wrong meal, they mess it up, and then you're telling them like, oh, like, I'm so sorry to do this, but um, uh, this is wrong, this is incorrect, like, would it be too much trouble? Or when you're in the grocery store and you like almost run into someone and it's like purely an accident and your automatic, like, almost like vocal tick is to say like, oh, I'm, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. So um, it's definitely a sweet side. I think it's something that's typically more associated with women than from men. And I've been just doing some different research and for whatever reason, they show men and women these different topics and women, they're always like really sorry about stuff. So I'm just kind of curious about it. Um, I, I think when we look at this like over apologizing though, again, I don't want it to come as like, advice giving or right or wrong like I think it's just like looking at the positive associations what might be like the positive outcomes of using sorry and saying you're sorry and what might be like the negative things that might come of it just to be aware of it um, let's look at the positive first um, so some ways that people use sorry um, and this apologizing, call it over apologizing or just write whatever you wanna call it, um, might be to put other people at ease. Um, if anyone else has ever worked in the service industry or in restaurants, you are always like so considerate of other people. And I think that that's a big one that I've heard from conversations with other women that they want people to feel comfortable and they want people to feel at ease. So I think using I'm sorry, um, can just make the other person feel like you're coming from a place of humility, restoring some kind of balance to the relationship if you sense that the other person might be a little bit uncomfortable. And that's something that I actually heard from men that's actually like working for them is I think that somehow like when a man apologizes um, and it's, it's in a conversation with a woman that somehow it feels like they're more relatable, that there's like this softer side to them, or at least that's how I'm perceiving it. Um, and if there's anyone that's watching that has joined right now, and there's other ways that you're using it, or you have positive or negative connotations, I'd love for you to like type them out, because I, I don't know everything. <laughs> I want to hear what you have to say about it. Um, but when I'm thinking about the negative connotations of sorry, I think that the things that I'm most really concerned about is like how it's showing up in the workplace or how it might be impacting us in the workplace as women. Um, they tell you if you get into a car accident, don't say sorry. They're like, don't say it, it's admitting guilt and you're automatically gonna be at fault. I honestly, I don't know if that's true or not, but it's something that I've heard. So I wonder if like we're constantly using sorry at work, if there's like, our boss, our coworkers, I wonder if it's making us look guilty. I don't know, like I kind of wonder, and I know there's so much going on right now about like women in the workplace and equal pay. And so it just kind of has me wondering, like, is this related? Um, I think that there's also something like tied to it um, that might be like around guilt or putting yourself at fault. So. I kind of wonder if we're using I'm sorry and it's just this like vocal tick, like are there underlying emotions? Are we just saying it or do we actually like feel guilty about something? Um, so I'm curious, like if there is anyone that watches this video later, how you're using sorry, what's working for you, what's not, what do you want to change? 
I know for me, one thing that I want to stop doing is apologizing for things that I don't need to be sorry for. The grocery store plans, like almost bumping into someone. I think I just want to like choose to say like, pardon me, <laughs> something like that. Or, oh, excuse me. Um, because I, I don't want to be like unconsciously using sorry because I think it also diminishes like what it's about. It's just like, you know, watering down other important words like the phrase, like, I love you, for example, if we're just constantly using sorry and throwing it around, like, how much does it really mean if people, they just say, like, oh, I'm sorry. Like, it's it's kind of almost empty now, and um, it's it's not, like, enough anymore. So what meaning do those words, I guess, even have? Um, I think, though, that if we are actually really sorry and we are really wanting to use that as, like, a true apology, I feel like there are like other things that we can say that can actually like make it feel more powerful, more meaningful. Um, another use of I'm sorry that I think that I sometimes hear a lot is if people are like um, using it in a sarcastic way um, to state like their opinion or that they disagree like, oh, I'm sorry, but um, that's not what I think. That's not what I think is right. <laughs> and so, um, yeah, that's just another thing too. It's like, what's the impact? Of like putting the I'm sorry there um, what if they just like stated their opinion or if they said like oh well respectfully this is these are my thoughts so just a little exploration about these words about um, what meaning they hold if they hold meaning and just um, would love to hear if there's anything around um, I'm sorry that comes up for you how you're using it what you want to get away from what you want to use more so that we can just be a more I guess, aware society of how we're using our words and choosing our words. But that's all for now. Thanks, everyone.